Well, um, when it um, when it eventually went mainstream, because it was quite a curious moment for me when when I I, um, I I was appointed a minister in the Department of Science, Innovation, and Technology, and they said, right, your portfolio, you're going to be Minister of AI and Intellectual Property, and I thought that's great, and and I. I've always taken this interest in AI, but it was just at the time when AI was turning from obscure field that a few people were very, very interested in, but nobody else cared about, to <laughs> suddenly everybody had, had been running ChatGPT, and, um, and and it was really becoming <coughs> quite mainstream. So it was just at that time that I um, that, that I ended up in that um, in that curious but very exciting role. In my introduction, I highlighted that. You know, you didn't take the usual path into politics. You, you know, you, you come with that technological slash business background, really understanding the code and technology even before getting into the policy. Because that's not that's a very very rare combination in politics. And please walk me through what the journey was like from transitioning from. Well, I'm, you know, I mean, I'm I'm a um, hereditary peer, and that means that. Um, I had to be elected by fellow members of the House of Lords mm -hmm. to that sort, which is a much easier process, obviously, than being elected by an electorate at an election. It gave me gave me a chance to really focus on that, and it works quite well, particularly in a more technical field, because you know it is a very technical thing, particularly when you add some of the other areas I was responsible for, like cybersecurity, uh, you know, and more obscure things like the Met Office and and. Um, and so on. So while I, I can't really comment on why I was sort of picked <laughs> picked to do this job, um, I, I hope it was something to do with that, with the experience of, of implementing this and, mm -hmm. and always with a, a focus on trying to communicate as clearly as possible to a lay audience, particularly the implications of any given form mm -hmm. of tech.